So this video is going to show us quickly how to select parts of the image and then apply filters to only the part of that image. So I've got a new photo here. Over here, I've got a few things. If I press and hold, I've got a magnetic lasso tool. And what I can do, I'm just going to zoom in by my Alt and scroll wheel. I'm going to just highlight the inside of this window. So I'm going to just click and drag, and the computer automatically works out where the edge is. It's not always brilliant, depending on what you're working on. So you can click and make little squares, have the defined points. So go down here. This picture works brilliantly because you've got a light color makes a dark color, so therefore Photoshop can easily work out the differences. But if you've got like a color of different tones of gray or similar colors, it might struggle. Double click the last one, and then you'll see the line advance all around the edge. Okay. Now I've selected only inside here, so all the rest of this picture outside is not going to do. So I'm going to go to my filter now, and I'm going to go for Mm, what should we go for? Let's go for uh, what should we go for? Let's go for uh, blur. Let's go for okay. Right, let's go for store. Let's go for, store, let's go for uh, a twelve. Now you see here is a twelve. So. I can apply more of a 12, and you see it change down here. If we press OK, and there we go. It's applied the 12 just inside of that of the line ends. If I'm now finished, I want to deselect that. I could, I could press Control D, but actually, let's go select up here and go inverse. And now you see lines all across the edge. Now I'm selected. I've selected everything outside of this bit. So I've played everything else. Now let's go for some chaos. Let's go for filter. Let's go for filter gallery this time. Let's see what I can play with. So let's go artistic. Fresco. Oh, what's a good one? That's a bad one. Let's go for rough pastels. I'm going to play with my, my stroke length, my stroke detail. Oh, you want more detail. Okay, let's go OK. And then you can see. It's apply the effect to every button inside there. Now if I press Control and D, deselect, there's my image done, and it's applied the filter everywhere. So you can cut, or well not cut, you can select different pieces and apply as many filters as you want to each section of the picture as you want. So have a go. Well done.